going on? Going to do a, a quick demonstration today, showing some uh, technology tips that you can try out yourself uh, at home. And um, this is the thing that I picked up. I actually got it on eBay. It's uh, basically if you want to convert a uh, digital to analog, or uh, convert a digital signal to an analog signal. It's a, a HDMI SCART scale, scalar converter box. Uh, I picked this up on eBay. I got it reasonably cheap. I got it for about eight euro, um, and it took uh, about two weeks to come in the post. And um, so you have your input and your output here. So you have input and output, right there like that. And uh, you've got one end here, which you can plug your SCART lead into, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. And uh, on this side, you have your uh, where you can plug in your HDMI. Uh, lead so it's very light they're really really light small little boxes but uh yeah they're very 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 handy so we're going to do a demonstration now showing you exactly how this little uh, little device works it also came with this little little cable which we we won't need just right right away but it's basically a usb on one end and you can also plug this in in here just like this and then you get a red kind of an LED light which will, will turn on once you plug it into your PC or laptop. So if I plug this if I plug this in here for instance uh, I'll just do this really quickly. Yeah, you get a red light just like this. So that's one of the features. But most importantly if you have your HDMI and your laptop right here you can plug your uh, HDMI port into the box on the HDMI side which goes in just like that and then you get your red light on like this and then we have our you need what you basically need here is a two-way SCART lead so I got my one off my VCR so you have a SCART like this on both sides of the wire so you plug one end into your television set. So I'm doing a demonstration here on a CRT uh, TV. So I'm going to hook my, my PC, my laptop up to my CRT television set using this box. And do a demonstration of that. So I can plug in the HDMI just like this. Or the SCART lead I should say. So we're converting the analog to the digital. Or the digital to the analog whichever way you want to say it. Uh, so I have that plugged in just there like that uh, and my laptop running so I can start the TV now and hopefully we will uh, get our laptop screen uh, image showing up on the television set on the CRT monitor so uh, there we go so just had to select the SCAR channel so I can use my mouse from here and I'm, I've got the analog, the digital signal running through to the analog signal. Very, very handy. So uh, I can do everything on my PC here just like an old PC or an old laptop, an old uh, computer monitor. So I'll do a quick demonstration just to show you that I can run the sound from, instead of having the PC sound, I can uh, run it through the television set. But if I want to actually change the settings, I can also have, I can go to display settings. And if I only want to show it on one screen, I can uh, go down to duplicate screens here and extend these displays. Show on one or show on two. I think it's show on one is the one we need. No, that's the, that's the wrong one actually. So we have no signal there. We need to select the other one. Uh, show, show on number two. Yeah, so now it's only showing it on the television screen. So I'll say keep changes to that. And then I can do whatever I want here. So I'll quickly show you Google. Bring up Google, there we go. Uh, we can go into our Facebook. Like that. Facebook login. There we go. There's Facebook. That's YouTube. And uh, we can 
pl quickly play a random video just just to see what the sound quality is like. Advertisements. Put it in Steve full screen. So I'm doing this all off of YouTube, streaming it from my laptop screen onto the CRT uh, TV set. An a digital to an uh, uh, to an analog thing. You don't want copyright law problems. So uh, that's the quality right there. And I can adjust this on the TV screen with my remote control if I want it louder or lower. So I have, I can also adjust it to have the sound coming through the laptop, not just the television set. That's another cool feature by changing the settings on my laptop or my PC. After all, they don't charge a single so, uh, thing for their that's, service. What's the service that they provide? Well, they that's one thing we can do. Question. The other thing I was going to try out is uh, uh, I'd like to try this sound program that I have here called Virtual DJ. We'll do a quick demonstration of that just for the for sound purposes. Uh, Virtual DJ. There we go. And. Uh, See, can we get a song? Okay. Uh, just give me a minute. Uh, need to find a song. And I can drag the song that I want into virtual dj and just drop it in and uh, press play there we go just adjust the volume there on the tv set quite loud so i can play around with this now i can change the pitch to lower or i can make it higher really squeaky Also bring it down, set it to where I want. I kind of like it there, so uh, leave it there. Uh, maybe put a bit of flanger on. Play around with the effects. Put a bit of flanger, a bit of uh, reverb. So yeah, that's pretty much what you can do. I can also do a key change as well. I go like this. Go down really low. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's a, it's a cool feature to have. But even cooler when you try it out on your uh, television set that has all, uh, through the old monitor, you get a different kind of a sound because it's an old TV, so it's nice. Anyway, that's Virtual DJ, CRT. Um, so we we might just check and see what a PC game looks like through the through this screen. So I have GTA 3 here, so I'm gonna just slip in the disc because I have the CD version. So um, I'll just have to grab that one there nice and quick. Uh, give me a minute. Okay, should be able to slip it in now. There we go. Should be able to run this pretty quickly now. Uh, how long are we video? Ten minutes, nine minutes. All right, okay. Uh, yeah, we can X out of that. Should be able to click into it now. Just say yes. Oh, we've lost signal. How did this happen? Oh, I think it just got loose. It's okay. So, uh, GTA 3 PC version on CRT screen. Which actually looks like the PlayStation 2. We're playing the PlayStation 2 version now because it's on an older TV, but... Yeah. Hopefully this won't crash now. In a few minutes. So I run up. Mm. 
There we go. Select uh, uh, player setup. I'm changing my clothes. Click back. Start game. Load my profile. And we're clear. Yep. I can control everything here from my PC. Displaying on the CRT uh, television set. It's pretty cool. Nice feature. That's GTA 3. PC version. Uh, transferred from the digital to analog signal. Weapons. Shoot. There we go. So bad. And uh, we'll just check the uh, driving really quickly. But for extortion. And that's more or less it. Thank you for watching, uh the video of a uh, laptop hooked up to the CRT TV set using the scalar converter box, HDMI SCAR, HDMI to SCAR converter box. I recommend uh, that you look for one of these through eBay or uh, you'll, you'll find one maybe on Amazon or other sites as well. But they're very, they're very, very handy. Thank you for watching this video. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys.